Hello, we are here for the first lesson of a new training course that uh, will cover all the commands and all the concepts of uh, Axis VM. And Axis VM is a finite element program for static vibration and buckling analysis of structures. Uh, this program was developed by uh, specialists and for uh, specialists which we, uh, we can uh, identify as being civil engineers. Uh, this is a program that combines powerful analysis capabilities with a very easy to use graphical interface. Um, this is a new, a new uh, series of videos. Uh, we will try to do uh, a very similar uh, concept uh, in this uh, new course because uh, the idea is to create uh, lessons and uh, we will have 49 lessons in this uh, course. Um, we will have uh, complementing these lessons also a theoretical side that will cover uh, all the commands and all the things that uh, are uh, mentioned in these videos in, uh, in detail because it's impossible to cover uh, everything uh, with a tiny detail uh, unless the videos will uh, become very long and uh, I think they will lose the effect. Uh, so we will have this theoretical uh, side that you can purchase after uh, all the videos of the lessons are finished. Uh, we will release also uh, examples that uh, will try to cover as much uh, different situations and a as much uh, uh, fields as possible. And uh, besides all of these things, uh, we uh, give you full support um, explaining, uh, clarifying whatever it is less uh, clear uh, in these videos or for users that already uh, use uh, Axis uh, VM uh, in their professional or academic life. So uh, anything you need or uh, you want support, you can contact us through the usual channels. So uh, I, I truly hope that uh, these videos and all this information uh, will be helpful for you. Um, we have also a new channel uh, in Facebook that you can use uh, to uh, follow these videos and the information we will release and uh, this should take uh, a couple of weeks to finish. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy this and uh, that you take advantage of uh, following our videos. So uh, put uh, a like uh, in, um, in our uh, YouTube channel or better subscribe our channel and uh, that will help us also to create more things and to improve. So in this first lesson uh, we call this as uh, the presentation or uh, interface because uh, we want to uh, show you what is the look of, of the program. And uh, when you open uh, the software for the first time you have this kind of look uh, with uh, more uh, icons, more toolbars, less toolbars, but this is the general look. This is very clean, so uh, not very complex to use. So we have in this top bar uh, what they call as uh, uh, the model name and the location uh, path for the file that we, we are using at this moment. Uh, so I've loaded the model that it's included on the installation of the software. Uh, in here we have this uh, top menu bar, so uh, you have uh, menus and these menus uh, will give you access 
to commands. Uh, this is very standard uh, use of the software. Uh, then we have a set of icons in here that uh, access standard uh, functions. So open a new, the print, the save, whatever. Uh, we have a couple of functions also uh, specific for uh, the software. And when you go uh, over these commands, you can see in this uh, uh, line here that they, it, it's called uh, the context sensitive area. Uh, will present you uh, a brief description of what you are flying over or what is the command. Okay. Uh, then we have this area here uh, that displays um, options and these options are um, things like geometry, so each of the options, uh, each of, of these uh, tabs will display different things, so this is uh, the core uh, of the software. So. Uh, along the course we will see all of these things and uh, basically uh, what what it does. Um, then we have also uh, this uh, toolbar here that in this particular case after uh, a calculation done uh, presents uh, conditions of what is going on uh, in the graphical area. The graphical area presents the model. The model uh, can be uh, manipulated by the use of the mouse that we will see also uh, in the following lessons. So we can do very standard and basic functions like the zoom in, zoom out in my mouse wheel or clicking in my mouse wheel also and do the pan. Uh, we can do things like uh, the rotate. So things like this so this is very straightforward no no big deal um, then we have also um, this uh, toolbar here that is called uh, the perspective toolbar that uh, allows you to uh, manipulate uh, the way you look uh, your model so it's uh, another uh, possibility to manipulate the display uh, we have this uh, axis uh, visualization uh, that uh, gives you also uh, this idea uh, of uh, the orientation of your model. Uh, below we have something called the coordinate window uh, that uh, will give you information about the coordinates and uh, it's important for inserting uh, the coordinates in your models when you are creating something. So we can use these in a, a incremental or absolute way. So for sure, it is one of the things that uh, we will look uh, and we will work a little uh, on uh, the way that is possible uh, to uh, work examples and so on. Uh, we have this window, this toolbar here called uh, the color legend window. Uh, this is used in terms of uh, helping the user to display the results. In this, ca in this particular case, the analysis that I've created uh, in vibrations. So this has a, a color code to display the values and this can be uh, seen uh, in here. Uh, we have also uh, something called um, the speed buttons. Uh, these are uh, shortcuts to things. So if you see again in this area the messages, you see the auto intersection uh, on or off. So you can do this. This is a little like uh, AutoCAD style. Uh, mouse snap on off and other things that we will see also uh, in detail. Uh, and we have also this um, imp very important uh, toolbar that is called uh, the property uh, editor. And this property editor uh, offers uh, a simple way to change the 
the properties of the selected element. So if I uh, select something, um, we can try to select something around here. So if I select, I get uh, some uh, information about the properties of what is selected and then select things around. So all of these concepts we will be uh, seen in detail for the next uh, video lessons. So this is a very um, uh, clean uh, interface. So uh, when we speak about finite elements programs, uh, everyone uh, have uh, has the idea to complex softwares. Uh, difficult to use um, so I, I think this axis is not uh, the case uh, I will try to uh, pass you the idea and try to change you the idea that uh, this uh, software axis VM it's easy to use it's easy to learn and uh, it's very powerful at the same time uh, this is another idea that sometimes if uh, a software or solution it's easy it's not powerful okay I will try to change you that mentality in terms of the lesson itself I hope that as a presentation of the program uh, this uh, give you um, a very brief uh, idea and a, a very brief explanation of what we will see in the following videos and again as I already mentioned in this in this video and uh, as I always mention in all the all the videos of the other softwares also for any help any question that you need our support so reach us through the channels that you know already uh, being those uh, the email that you can see in the end of our video or uh, in the comments uh, of this video in our YouTube channel.